Hello? There are two plugins that need to be installed. I'm starting with these first. The first plugin is Rich Text Editor. The second is Relative Time Moment.js. Bubbles plugins are really cool. Apps are getting stronger. Okay, we finished the first step in 20 seconds. Let's move on to the next job. The next job is to copy databases. Super simple. Right-click copy and paste into your target application the same way. I need to copy three types. The first one is finished. Now I'm copying the others. Okay. It's over in 30 seconds. Our next job is to open two fields on the user side. But in my application they are ready. I won 5 seconds. The current job is to copy styles. In order to see the design as a whole, you must copy the styles and then you can reshape them according to your own design. In addition, this allows you to keep the number of issue will receive at first to a minimum. Remember to use the search box when copying styles. You can reach the styles you are looking for very quickly by typing a few letters and you can easily copy them with a right. The job of copying the styles will take a little longer. If you want, continue watching the video from 156 minutes. In short, it will only take 20 more seconds. It takes about 1 minute to copy all styles. Now I can copy the reusable element. I copy the reusable element with a right click and paste it into the target application with a right click. If you did the copy job correctly, Bubble will create a new reusable element. So far everything okay. And there are only 7 issues. Great, let's fix those now. If the element is giving an issue, check its name so you can know the name of the data field associated with that element. The same fields always return errors in Bubble. Full name and profile photo. These are super easy to fix. As you know, the field names do not have to be the same. You can also use options like first name and last name or username instead of full name. Let's fix the last one too. Okay, currently my application has comment and reply system. And in a very short time like 244 minutes. However, I wanted to add this feature to an already existing app. So I will not use the data type social media post. I'll create the comment number name field in video type. So my app can count the comments. I'm done with social media post. Now I'm doing what I need to do in the comment type. I created a field of type video to establish the relationship between the comment and the videos. I no longer need the post field. I will delete this field. I will get a few more errors from now on. Of course, I no longer need the social media post data type, so I'm deleting it too. OK9 issue has appeared. This is a very small number I can fix quickly. Okay, since I changed the data type of the parent group, meaning the reusable element, the total number of errors is 11, again, very ideal. I started to fix it. Bubble does database searches in series, not in parallel. Therefore, it will be better for performance to have the data constraint on the post above. Yes, I make changes easily. I know it will be over very soon as there are only a few issue. Bubble does that sometimes. There's actually a number, but Bubble insists it's text. So I need to delete and recreate the expressions. Last four issues. Last issue and then I can test it.
Only in 5 minutes. This is awesome. Yes. We can switch to our page to test it. I need to make the height of my page and the height of the carrier group ready for this element. Ah. I made a little mistake. Sorry. Done. Now let's set the height of the group. Done. Let's take the receivable element and place it in the group. Particular attention will be given to showing the data source of the reusable element. I have to run it with a user to make sure it works correctly. Yes, the page is loaded. I'm making the first comment. Great song by the way. Everything looks great. Now I will check if the reply system is working correctly. First, I test the like feature. No problem. Let me add one more comment. Wonderful. And let's create and reply. Aha, uh -huh. great question F, thank you for suggesting this. Okay, let me add a follow feature to my app. Knockcode Bible offers that too. It will take a minute or two at most. Let's take a look at what we need to do. I need to copy the database. It's okay, copy and paste. It's that simple. I need to copy style. Um. I think I just copied this style. Let me check. Yes. I remembered correctly. Next is to copy the reusable element. Copied. Pasted. Now let me choose where I should place it. Um, it's going to get really stuck here and I have to play around with the design, um, until I do a better design, for now I can add the full name where I show it. I guess no one's name is that long. Yes, let's show the data source. I chose the person who created this comment. Let's test it. Super. Less than two minutes.